Hi Virgo, this is your March 25th through the 31st weekly tarot reading will have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. The first spread is new love coming uh, your way this week or you coming towards new love. Uh, the second spread is for those of you who are already involved with somebody. Spread number three is love from the past. In the fourth spread we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and then we'll wrap things up with spread number five which is what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have uh, the Five of Swords, clarified by the Ten of Swords. We have the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Cups. We have the Star. In the potential outcome, we have uh, the Six of Swords with the Two of Cups and uh, the Ace of Pentacles. And we also have the Sun on the, on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Leo, or absolutely any Zodiac sign. This is a very, very specific reading, Virgo. Somebody is leaving something or someone behind, so the two of you could be together. Okay, it could be you who's doing that, it could be them who's doing that, or both of you. But definitely, before the two of you could be together, you know, something or someone has to be left behind, right? For some of you, you could already be involved with somebody and you're breaking up with that person, so you could be... So you could move forward with this uh, new person, or they could be doing that. I'm not judging anybody. This is not uh, a singles spread, right? This is a new love spread. <laughs> Most of you, 90% of you are, are single. Some of you are not, all right? Um, perhaps uh, you have somebody telling you not to be together with this person. Somebody's getting in, getting in the way, and you're going to tell that person off because you're in love and you don't care. Some of you, if you have um, like a lease, if you're renting a place where you currently live and you have a lease or you have roommates, you could be dumping the lease <laughs> and moving out. So you could move forward, move in together with this person, right? But uh, yeah, we start with the Five of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Something or someone is definitely going to be uh, becoming a thing of the past, right? The Ten of Swords is a card of an abrupt ending and the Five of Swords is a card of like an ugly separation. This is when we slam the door on the way out or slam the door into someone else's face who is trying to, um, you know, influence us not to be together with somebody. All right, and uh, the next card I came out is the Eight of Wands, which is clarified by the Ace of Cups. And in the potential outcome, the first card is the Six of Swords. So both of those two cards are talking about the same thing, right? So it's like re it's a repeating thing. Both of them are talking about you literally moving forward with this person, moving in together, or literally moving, <laughs> or getting in the car, getting getting on the plane, and then traveling together, or traveling and meeting somewhere in the middle. I don't know. And uh, all of this obviously is in the name of love, because the Eight of Wands is clarified by the Ace of Cups, that's the reason. The Ace of Cups is true, genuine, authentic love, and the Eight of Wands also could be interpreted as a card of a Cupid's arrow. So there's definitely love, that's why this is happening. The star in the middle could be an Aquarius, you're dealing with, but the star is a card of a wish come true. Perhaps uh, this new person is everything you wished for, and uh, vice versa. <laughs> On the bottom of the deck we have the sun. The sun is a card of clarity, so you are going to be 100% clear that you have to do this, you have to go through this, or they are going to be 100% clear they have to go through this, or both of you. And besides that, the sun <coughs> is the happiest card in the deck. So I think the two of you will be happy. Once this is done, once you jump through this hoop, right, uh, you will be really happy. And uh, going back to that potential outcome, besides that Six of Swords, we have the Two of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, right? And the Two of Cups features two people. That's you and this new person. It's a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of unconditional love. And it's also a card of when two people are on the same page, right? Both of you are very well aware of what's going on, right? That uh, this has to happen first. And uh, the Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. Second Ace. Right? It, 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 this ace often comes through as a card of a marriage proposal. And you see how there is a pathway in the right bottom corner of that ace of pentacles. This is a pathway to a new life and it's kind of symbolic. The pathway in this case is the five of swords clarified by the ten of swords in the beginning. And uh, both of you, I, th I believe, know that this is going to be worth it. Right? Once this is over, it's going to be over. It's going to be definitely worth it. You will look back at this decision, like 10, 20 years from now, you'll look back at it, and you'll 
tell yourself, you'll pat yourself on the back and say, yes, that was the correct move. All of this is in the name of love, <laughs> it's a wish come true, you're dealing with a soulmate, and uh, you yourself know this is a golden opportunity for you, um, Virgo. Wow, 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 wow. But anyway, Virgo, really happy for you, congratulations. If you are already married, or if you're in a relationship, Virgo, this card is for you. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Hierophant, the Nine of Cups, and the, the Three of Wands on the bottom of the deck. This week, you two, or maybe the whole family, will make a final decision after which there is no turning back. <laughs> All right? That's the three of ones on the bottom of the deck. It is a card of somebody who made a decision and that's it. All right? And uh, it's actually something good, okay? Because we, we actually have the Wheel of Fortune with the Hierophant and the Nine of Cups. These are awesome cards. Two major arcana cards, right? And, uh, and a wish come true card. <laughs> so the Wheel of Fortune is the start of a new cycle. Maybe you're moving, maybe you're taking it to the next level, whatever that level is for you. Maybe you're deciding to have children or have more children. Let me know in the comments down below. But this is not something small, it's something big, right? The Hierophant in the middle could be a Taurus. You're dealing with the Hierophant is a card of like something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage. It's also a card of education, right? Perhaps this is all about education. Um, it's also a card of something formal, official, spiritual, religious, what have you, right? So it's, it's, it's not a small thing. I don't think it's a small thing. And the Nine of Cups right next to the deck is a wish come true. And it's also kind of a personal satisfaction and fulfillment. Alright, yeah, it's a, it's a good spread. But uh, just so you know, after that, there's, after you guys make up your mind, make a decision, it's final. You can't go back. Alright, cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Virgo, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be uh, the most recent decks. We have the Five of Pentacles, clarified by the Eight of Cups, the Ten of Wands, the Seven of Swords, clarified by the Two of Pentacles. And uh, we have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You know, you could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. We don't have any court cards. Well, no, we don't. Uh, some people consider page pages a court cards. Well, <laughs> in this case, I think the Page of Cups is somebody reaching out to you. But um, what you need to know about this person is they are experiencing experiencing some kind of a difficulty, and that's why I think they're reaching out to you. They could be low on money. Uh, they could be unemployed, they may need a place to stay, um, or something like that, right? Something like that. They're not telling, um, unless they tell you that, yes, this is what's happening to them. If they tell you, if they give you some other reason, they're lying to you, right? They're definitely experiencing either financial difficulties or living situation difficulties or, or both, or something else on top of it. That's what I can tell you right away, and perhaps that's why they're coming back to you, because they need your help. It's going to be up to you whether you want to help them or not, uh, Virgo, but uh, I don't really see you, uh, you know, jumping up and down, being so happy to see this person. I don't see that. I do see that page of cups, but I think this is them reaching out to you. It could also be an apology. But uh, keep in mind what I just said a few seconds ago. The real reason, the true reason why they're coming back is because they're experiencing some kind of a problem, issues. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Virgo. This week we have the Devil, clarified by the Knight of Cups. We have the Three of Swords, the Four of Cups, and Death <laughs> on the bottom of the deck. This is one crazy spread for work, business, and finances. But it kind of makes sense if you look at it closely. All right, so you could be dealing with uh, Capricorn, uh, Water Sign, Kansas Scorpio, Pisces, or absolutely any Zodiac Sign. You know, it kind of reminded me of the uh, Love from the Past spread I just did for you literally a couple of minutes ago. I don't know if you watched it or not, but in that spread, somebody was go somebody's going to try to come back to you, but they're experiencing some like financial issues, right? And uh, this spread right here could be a repeat of that. Somebody is going to try to come back and they will try to um, they will try to do something romantic for you <laughs> but in reality they need money or in reality they need a place to stay or something right because uh, the four of cups right next to the deck is a rejection and I think this is you realizing what's actually going on and rejecting this person. For others of you um, somebody may still try to 
Um, it could be like a con artist coming your way and they will dangle that really sweet juicy carrot in front of you trying to lure you in but I think you'll see right through this person right so be careful with people calling you what, what do you call them telemarketers right con artists offering you something like a huge re return on your investments it's all BS it's all BS <laughs> <laughs> right but it will look very attractive the devil is a card of uh, you know somebody who is um, really good at uh, luring people in and the knight of cups in this case could be like some kind of a very sweet sweet offer right uh, the way they're gonna present it it's gonna be like oh <laughs> but in reality I think they're trying to scam you or you know cheat you out of your money so be very careful when it comes to either people from the past uh, or like questionable offers or offers that look too good to be true or something like that all right cool let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week Virgo we have uh, the six of ones the will of fortune uh, the Emperor and the three of cups on the bottom of the deck uh, what you're not expecting is you will be invited to an Aries birthday party okay or um, maybe you could be promoted at work or somebody will be promoted at work all right, those are the two scenarios I see. But the, the first thing I thought of was an Aries birthday party, All right? Because the Emperor right next to the deck is an Aries uh, major arcana card, and we are right in the middle of an Aries birthday season. The Wheel of Fortune to the left from the Emperor is the start of a new cycle, right? So it's a new cycle, a new year starting for this uh, Aries. And uh, the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck is a card of a celebration. The Six of Wands, the first card I came out. I think this is you feeling really good about the fact that you're going. Perhaps you wanted to go or it could be very important to you. Perhaps uh, some important people will be there and you could make some good connections. You know, because <laughs> networking is, uh, communication is always key. Okay. And if it's not a, an Aries birthday party, like I said, perhaps you're being promoted. You could become the Emperor. The Emperor could be a boss figure. The Six of Wands, the first card I came out, is a card of victory and success, being awarded, rewarded, promoted. The Will of Fortune, in this case, is the start of a new cycle for you in a new role as a boss. And uh, with the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck, you will be celebrating this. Alright, so let me know how this one plays out for you. This whole reading is just crazy. <laughs> the first spread was with the uh, Five of Swords, Ten of Swords, then the X spread was crazy. You know, the, you know, it's not, it's not one of those uh, really easy <laughs> readings. But uh, it, readings like this makes it more fun for me. So thank you, Virgo. So that's what I have for you for this reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, uh, Virgo, have an amazing week.